This video will show you how to download occurrence data from the paleobiology database and turn it into range data. So first thing, we're going to go to the download data option in PBDB. There's a lot of options here. We're going to go to show all available parameters and we want to have occurrences uh, selected at the top. And we're just going to download all the data for cetacea, whales, dolphins, etc. And then we're going to go to lump by genus, which is going to make things a little easier for us when we download. Then we're just going to go up to the download link. And that should uh, download a CSV file to your uh, desktop. I'm just going to open that in Excel. It's going to be a bunch of header data here telling us about our download, which is kind of just going to get in our way, so we want to delete that. You can just control click and you'll get rid of all of those rows. So here's our data. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to use pivot tables to try to summarize all of this data. So if you select the data, it'll automatically um, add it to a new worksheet. And then we're going to get this little pivot table builder over on the right here. All we care about now are accepted name, rank, and then the um, maximum age and minimum age of each of the gene genera that we're looking at. They're all going to show up in the values uh, area right now, which isn't really what we want. So just drag uh, accepted rank and accepted name over into rows. Accepted rank is just going to confirm for us that everything we're looking at is a genus. Um, if you drag name below rank, there you go, showing us all the genera. Now for max and min, we want the maximum of the oldest age and the minimum of the minimum age for all the occurrences of this genus, which is going to give us the max max and the min min for the entire genus. And here we are. So we can see the ranges, the fad and lad of each of the cetacean uh, genera in this table. Now, in order to manipulate this data a little more easily, we're going to select everything within the pivot table, so all the black text, and copy and paste it into a new sheet, add a title row. So that's our max age, this is our min age. And then if you select everything and go up to um, data and filter. You'll get those little down arrows, sort ascending, and now we can see all of the extant uh, genera within Cetacea. So everything's now ordered by its uh, last appearance.